Hello folks, welcome back to our Let's Play for Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. And if you remember from the previous episode, we're about to be making our way over to the parallel world, to Mr. Drippy's world. And as soon as you reach this objective over here, things will kick into action. Do you really think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic, see? Go on, Ollie boy. Cast gateway. Um... All you have to do is select the spell, it's already there for you. And the game will do the rest. That's it, man, you got it! Shunting, crybaby bunting. For the last time, it's Oliver. Hey, it's not bad work for a crybaby, this. Oh. And we're off. Off on our adventure. Let's see if we can save Oliver's mum. And kill some bad guys in the process. And what are those things? I have no idea. <sighs> right. Let's get going, shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! <sighs> so this is... Your world. Ah, home at last. But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk. Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh-huh. Huh? Jeepers. Oh, knickers! Where did he spring from? <laughs> Believe it or not, this is going to be our first boss battle. He's got not boss battle. Just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away! No, use that stick you got by there! Give him a whacking and send him packing! Huh? Huh? Ah! Look lively, he's making his move! I don't know why I said this was a boss battle, but this is our first battle. And it's really not challenging at all. What's Even if this? you've never played a Japanese role-playing game before, you're not going to really uh, die to this thing. All you have to do is select attack and follow the on-screen instructions. You can see you've got your own health in green and your own magic or mana in blue, as you would expect. And the enemy's health is above his head and over on the right hand screen. You can attack or defend. For this fight, we're going to get right up into the uh, mob's face and just pummel him down. You can have free action of the battlefield, so you can run around, etc, etc. In that sense, it's a little bit like Star Ocean, I suppose rather than Final Fantasy, where you usually have static characters. But it is quite an interesting battle system. Obviously, this is just a very brief introduction and doesn't even begin to open anything up. So that was nice and easy. It's a standard experience levelling system, which means there's going to be a little bit of grinding. Jeepers, creepers. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure, Mr. Drippy. But where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. <laughs> You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. You might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it, but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. 
Now, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder, didn't I? Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shadar showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much, they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks prick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken-hearted. Broken-hearted? Like... sad? Worse than that. Much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Of course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness. We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time. Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Of course you will, and that's why we need to find you a better wand. All right, let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Tidy. Okay, so Ding Dong Dell is our next destination, and it's that castle which you can see over there. This is the world map. Which I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe this is a new addition to the PlayStation 3 version. I'm not sure that it was in the DS version that was released in Japan, but I could be wrong on that. It might have just been that it was in, but it was changed. Now, there's something flashy there, which means there's an item to loot. And that was a bunch of booster shoots. Which is a crafting or an, I uh, an alchemy item, but it doesn't yet have any use. There's another couple of items... Uh, I would like to grab. We need to be careful not to try and get caught off guard by these things, else they'll get the first attack. But this is just another rough, and as we know from before, these are fairly easy to kill. So we're just going to stay in its face and attack. As you can see, you get a little clock to the side, which means you'll continue to attack through that time unless you cancel it. And that's another one dead. And we've leveled up already. There you go, he took two battles. We get a few extra boosts to our stats. We're just going to start heading to the castle. But there are a few more, or a couple more items I just want us to try and find if we can. There's one over there in the mountains. Did we catch this one off guard? Let's go! I thought we did. So this is another enemy type, which is the bartender. Nice little play on words, see what they did there. And we get more experience for that. So it won't be long, we'll be level 3 I think. See what this item is over here. A plains wort flower. Hmm, that's interesting. If we can head a little bit north, I think we're going to have to kill this thing. There should be another shiny which we'll want to collect. Let's see what this is. This is a minor, a minor bird. Oh, nice powerful critical attack there for three whole points of damage. But now this battle system will open up later, especially as we start using the familiar system, which I will explain to the best of my ability as and when we reach that point in the game. 
And that's the last item that I want to collect. That's a bottle of spring water. Because no doubt poor Oliver here is going to get thirsty at some point on our adventure. Let me just check. Hmm, it's hoping it'll tell us how much experience we got. Should we just work towards level 3 quickly? Because I don't think it's going to take us long to get there. And this is an Ouroboros. The snake eating its own tail. Go! Signifying eternity, I believe. Nice. This thing's going down. <sighs> grab some health. you got like a second or two just as the monster dies to grab any that you've missed. Okay, so... I'm probably just going to kill a couple of more of these. I'm not going to do it on camera. Uh, well, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just do this one. And then we'll call the episode What's quit this? so you can just see a little bit more of the combat system. But yeah, it's really not challenging at the moment. You can just stay right up in your enemies' faces and just pummel them to death. And there's no green things, but we don't need them. How much XP do we get for that? Three. Okay, well, our next destination, as I mentioned, is going to be Ding Dong Dell, which is the castle over there. Oh, might as well kill this thing. Oh, we haven't we fought one of these this. before. This is the Sleep Pea Fowl. Come on. Oh, wow, this is quick. Thought we're getting stronger already. That's not going to give us much experience, I don't think. That was like a three-second battle. Yeah, that's what I thought. One. Okay, folks. Well, I am going to end the episode now. So we'll continue next time heading into Ding Dong Dell. I might be level three when you see me next, but don't worry. I would only have killed a couple of enemies around here. I wouldn't have done anything else without you guys. So thank you very much. I've been Fuzzfinger. Please rate this video up, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, etc, etc. I'll see you next time.